How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another... Oh, it started already. Oh, yeah, thing. We're going to talk about this episode I'm Tom as Herpick. hard as we can. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. He's Jesse Moynihan. That's right. She's Ako Kestawera. Correct. He's Pendleton Ward. Hello. And he's Nate Cash. Hey, Nate? Sons of Mars. Please sons of Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Nate. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Presenting Nate Cash's Sons of Mars. Uh, this is an episode that was split out of two episodes, Ghost Princess and this, where came from the same idea. You write some really am- ambitious premises when you write a premise, don't you? That's yeah, Tom's way of making a not compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> the story was too big to fit in a single episode. It was so just a prompt. So I had to split into two different ideas. And uh, this is what came of it after many... Meetings with the writers. Hey, that looks cool. And, uh, yeah. So we get some... Glob. Some mythology in this episode. Grob. Ooh, cosmology. Grod. This was a nice idea you had of, I think it was you, of, of like... Because they said it different ways this few times. Gob and glob and stuff. You who? Jesse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just making it clear for people. Thanks. Listen, listen. Uh, I thought he was... Well, okay. Anyway, I thought that was it was clever. I really Go like on. seeing Magic Man run out of magic. You took the like mistake and you made it. You took the bug and made it a feature. Right. Yeah, you're kind of breaking the wall again. Because we kept. Uh, is that breaking the wall? I don't know. What? We, no. It's like uh, absolutely not, Akko. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like building up more wall, actually. Right. I don't it's know. Like, Patching up holes in the wall. Yeah. Nate, Akko. was this your... Yeah, we had to lift a big section that Aqua did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the, just to fit it within 11 minutes, uh, she had a really big mythology thing that we didn't have time for. Oh, oh my gosh, right. that's that right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Stone, and they like, saw the signs and the stone. I think there might have been a song in there, even. There was. <laughs> There was a, yeah, they were at a, at a statue of Abraham yeah. Lincoln. It wasn't a, a statue, it was monument. like, yeah, it was like a temple. Right, it had yeah. all this sort of prophecy. But it was like a natural feature. Yeah, think anyway, it's gone. and It is gone, but it exists. Yeah. Now that robot's in there, a robot body. Yeah, who knows what that story is. <laughs> and Steve did clean up on that robot body. Hmm. Was that right? I remember Steve's clean up. Hmm. Oh, also, writing Magic Man is really hard. Uh, capturing that uh, first, his first appearance. Um, I don't know who worked on that first board. Tom did a little. Well, bit. it was a long. I, I was like, I put the cherry on top. There's a lot of other. It was mostly pen by then, I think. Yeah. But a lot of other people too. It's the curse of uh, taking a popular character and bringing them back. Well, a lot like Lemon Grab. Yeah, and then there's the added layer of. That he is in Jake's body. Oh right. Not even the king of Mars. Was pre- that was pretty challenging. <laughs> it's interesting. Well, because the first time a guy gets written, a guy or girl, you don't. They don't have a voice yet. You're just writing with the the voice in your head of what you think they're going to sound like. And then the second time, there's an actor, and then you're sort of writing for a real person. <laughs> <laughs> so gooey. Yeah. All these drawings. And here we have a ghost shrimp background that was right, pretty different from the board. <laughs> you didn't draw boxes of dirt everywhere? No. <laughs> um, but you were pretty. stoked about it, I you? was. I was into it. I was like, oh, cool. Do what you want, man. As if uh, he needed any uh, <laughs> prompt to do what he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the background artist. That's his job. What am I stepping in? That's how I feel about it. I blow my nose all day. But your boards are pretty detailed. Yes. We yeah, but as long as he captures the spirit, Everyone I think, you know, it's a collaborative that's, medium. Wow, that was yeah, intense. Sure. That's a good way this to put it, man. Intense. This uh, tiny manticore coming up is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Jack likes him, too. Jack Pendarvis? Jack Pendarvis. He talks about tiny manticore a lot. Yeah. For one, I think this I house heard him do that. Look at this. <laughs> Margles. Margles. Hmm. Oh, yeah. interesting. Oh, right. Go. Okay. Lay, lay it down. More, let's lay have some down. therapy. So, <laughs> Margles is uh, Margles is the name Margles comes from my ex girlfriend, and uh, this uh, that was my pet name. Her name was Margaret, but I used to call her Margles. And uh, 
this whole premise of this episode is sort of uh, a way of for me to have channel all that uh, negative energy I was carrying and I was trying to uh, exercise it from my heart <laughs> through this episode <laughs> and that's why I wrote the premise basically as a way of like uh, getting rid of that black hole were you successful uh no but it helped a little bit i think it, it made me like feel like oh, i i put this thing out there it's like a magic it's a piece of magic out in the world <laughs> that like means something really deep to me you know? yeah and, how uh, does margos feel about it i haven't talked to her in years i don't know uh, i don't know if she knows this episode exists i don't know if anyone's told her I could send her an email, but I don't want to. Anyway, it's, it's here it is. Sad magic man's sad story, but maybe it's not. We don't know. But that's where it comes from. Stop! <laughs> Do you think? I was trying to be as real as I could. I guess at this point in time, boarding on the show, everything I was like, everything has to be super real, come from a super real place, or else it doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah, oh, I really love this part, Aka. This stuff cracked me up. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, bro. Old school. Turn on the dark. Is that what he says? Yeah. Um, and then the hair. What was it? <laughs> and then <laughs> so the celluloid, old school um, celluloid projector, mm -hmm. overhead projector. Who did those, who did those drawings, Nate? Uh, my son did a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Good job, Sev. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. You didn't want to call him Abraham Lincoln, though. You wanted to say it. we had to refer to him as the King of Mars the whole time. Oh yeah. Do you know why? K O M. Well, I feel really weird about just sort of pulling uh, 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 pop culture, which Abraham Lincoln is, mm -hmm. and pop and culture is history. Kind of That's like affairs. world history. <laughs> it's not anymore. It's uh. pop culture now. Well, you guys are missing some important details. I'm Jake the dog. Listen. Oof, oof. You know, you just pull characters from, and you just use them for like a cheap laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's what this was for me when I did the pilot. Um, I didn't think about it like that then. I thought it was funny. But now I'm like, ah, I got to push it and make it, make it better than what I was doing. Um, and so I wanted to call him King of Mars, and I wanted to work him into the, the world more. Uh, so I felt weird about the cheap laugh that is just dro name dropping Abraham Lincoln. And I wanted to call him King of Mars because that's what he is. One is total uh, but he's more than that. He's sort of he he he, he can he, uh, he can travel through time and different dimensions, and he's he's this sort of all powerful being. Jeez, that's um, pretty heavy. It's not. I, w I this, want it to be. I mean, this moment, this moment's <laughs> yeah. pretty heavy. Yeah, oh, he's giving Jake a choice yeah. about his death sentence. Oh, I would really miss my hey, best for. Life sentence. This was kind of a, a recycling uh, a season one idea that got scrapped. Yeah. Yeah. This was Doug to Naples uh, mm. sequence that he he thought of, um, and we. Oh, I, I always wanted to reuse it with a penny and death. Yeah, where they go to the the underworld and they trade souls and uh, for a penny. I thought it was brilliant. <gasps> it's the dog. The one you were prophesied to meet. I don't care none for that mess. This wouldn't have glopped if you just listened to my. <laughs> I remember you texting me at like 2 a.m. saying like, "Is this is this too much? Are we going too far?" I was like, "No." no, no. <laughs> at 2 a.m. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I was totally into it. I'm like, "No, we gotta do it." <laughs> these little guys in the background are cute. Martians. Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, little yeah, Martians. Like these little pilgrim Martians. Are they magic men? Really? Uh, well, they're not. I mean, they look like magic men. Yeah, but who knows what their functions? Yeah, really I think they're are. equally magical. Well, let's wait and see. Who knows? What? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have other theories that are well, fighting with yeah, my theory. Knows, you know, so you never can tell. What? There's some. We, we, can, can, tell. we can talk about it after this thing is. What? <laughs> <laughs> 
Y'all have some scheme going? No, believe me, you want to talk about it after. I have some gross scheme. <laughs> some nasty scheme. After the mics get turned off. Y'all are gross. <laughs> you guys. He's <laughs> just <laughs> joking <laughs> now. I'm just joking. Mm, right. It's very mundane. Yeah. Um, but I was, <clears throat> I was very conscious about the Abraham Lincoln humor. And I just wanted to yes. make it better than what it was. Teeth? I think we did. Man. Yeah, for sure. I think it's better. No. I, lost a I like those notches in the ring around his yeah. shoulders there. It's That's like a nice touch. complex. That's an Andy Restaino. Three cheers for Andy. Oh hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Sha sha. Here's a little monologue by Get out of here, Tiny Manicore. Tiny Manicore about cowardice. I'll invite Andy tomorrow. Oh yeah. Hip hip hip. What? Um I thought it was gonna be too packed. What does he say? Oh, uh, my prison is shame. <laughs> Wasn't he kind of like a punk? Yeah, he was a punk earlier. I like that. Uh, mm. It goes back to the original Magic Man lesson. It's kind of nice that characters sort of have... Uh, almost every character has an arc in this show, and they sort of become something better. They learn something more about themselves, and they become self-aware, really. They... Be, they they become conscious of, of who they were before and they turn into something new, which isn't normal in real life. I think most right. people sort of move through life being the same. Gets cynical. The same. Kind of yeah, bitter. I think Cinnamon Bun does that. Yeah. Cynical Bun. Cynical Bun. 